Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to look at subnetting a Class C address. And we're going to take three bits uh, from that last octet. That's the slash 27. That cider just means that we're taking three more bits than we would normally have. Normally it would be 24. But we're going to take three bits. And then down below here I've got a packet tracer layout of this network showing all eight networks. So we can get a total of eight networks by borrowing three bits. And uh, we start off with 192.168.1.0. The next network, we're in incrementing this by 32. So each one is incremented by 32 until we get to the last one here, 224. Uh, we're using a subnet mask of 255.255.255.224, uh, showing those three bits uh, set in that last octet, giving you 224. So we have the 120 bits, 128 bits set, a 64 bit, and the 32. Uh, let's get started on this. Uh, we went, just going to go back for a second to the uh, 24 bits, which is your typical Class C uh, default subnet mask. Uh, in the in the, in the typ typical default, we've got uh, this whole octet, this last octet that we can use uh, for assigning hosts. And this gives us a total of 256. Uh, we take off the 0, and we take off the 255. And we have 254 hosts or devices or nodes that we can assign IP addresses to. Pretty good, pretty good size network. Uh, we actually go a lot larger than that today. But since we have a full octet that we can work with back here, we can divide this octet up. First thing we did is we uh, borrowed one bit and we came up with two networks, the 0 network and the 128, and we found that we still had uh, 127 uh, that we could uh, bits back here. Uh, again, we can't use the 127 because that would be the broadcast. So we have 1 through 126 uh, individual hosts or nodes that we can assign addresses to, and we had two networks. Uh, you can see here for the two, uh, the 24 bit, it's 0 through 255 uh, or 1 through 100, 254, which is the assignable. Again, 0 is our network and 255 is the broadcast. I'm going to jump, jump over to 26 uh, bits. Uh, this is the last one we did. When we went to 26 bits, we divided the that last octet up into four different networks. So we had the 0 network, the 64, the 128 and the 192. And then we found that uh, when we when we knock out these two bits, that leaves us 0 through 63. Again, we have to subtract uh, the 0 because that's network and the 63 because that's broadcast. And it leaves us 1 through 62. So we're finding that we can assign 62 hosts or nodes in each one of these four networks. The numbers are over here. The first one, since, since the 128 and the 64 are both zero. Uh, we're only allowed to use these bits back here because these are our host bits now. We have six, and that gives us a range from one uh, to 62. The next one, we're going to assign uh, a one to that 64th uh, bit. Uh, so that's going to raise all our host addresses uh, to 64. So our first one is going to be 65. And then we can go all the way to 126 because, again, we can't use the 127 because that's when they're all high, and that would be our broadcast. Next one is uh, 128. We're setting the high order bit high. We're, we're putting the 64 back to 0. Uh, so everything's going to be incremented by 128. So our first assignable is 129. Our last is 190 because, again, the 128 is the network, and the 191 is the broadcast. Then our last one. We're going to assign both that 128 bit and the 64 bit high. We get 192. Again, our range back here is going to be incremented by 192. So our first assignable host is 193. Our last is 254 because, again, the 255 is set to broadcast. Now we move up to 127. You can see that our networks have, in, have doubled. Uh, again, we're in binary base two, so every time we add a bit, everything doubles. So here we've gone from four networks to eight networks, and we have them all listed up here, 0, 32, 64. So you can see everything is being incremented by this last bit that we set uh, as part of our network. They call that the magic number, 
And so everything is incremented by 32. So it goes 0, 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, and 224. Again, I've got the uh, subnet mask for this setup over here. The last octet has those three higher order bits set high. Uh, 128, 64, and 32 gives us 224. That subnet mask is important for all the computers and the hosts, so they know that these three bits now have been added to the first three octet bits uh, for the network portion. And then only these last five bits are going to be used for assigning IP addresses to computers or nodes. And you can see that down here. We only have uh, 1 through th one through 30 that are, are available IP addresses. Uh, the 0, again, would be our network, and the 31 would be our broadcast. And each one of these increment, uh, when we assign or set this 32-bit high, everything increments uh, starting from 32. So we got 33 through 62. 32 we won't assign because, again, that's network. The 63 is when these are all set high, and that becomes our broadcast. And you can see we just increment uh, by 32 through each one of these so here's the here's the full range, but we have to subtract the network and the broadcast. So again, we get 65 and 94. Down here we get 97, 126, and 129 through 158, and so on, all the way down to 254. Here again is our network, uh, again showing each one of these networks uh, that we've assigned here between each one of the routers, uh, and then back to our our last PC. Uh, we need to uh, go ahead and configure uh, the devices. Uh, just to, what I did just to make sure this works, uh, laid out packet tracer, uh, put all these uh, IP addresses on each one of these ports, and then we pinged through uh, from the first PC to the last, with the second PC, going through each router to make sure our networks are working and that we get our ping uh, working. Uh, so the first PC, we're going to go ahead and assign that uh, in that uh, 192.168.1.0. .1 we're going to use the 30, which is our last assignable IP address in that range. And you can see that we've assigned uh, the subnet mask uh, 0.224, which is our new subnet mask with those three harder bits set. Our default gateway is the router, and it's going to be the dot one. You can see this is our network here, zero. Our router has been assigned that dot one, and the PC the dot thirty. Next is the router. Again, the router has been assigned that address dot one. Again, with the same subnet mask. And the serial port coming out of that router, we've assigned it to the next network, which is the thirty-two network, and we've taken the first IP address, which is thirty-three, and assigned it uh, to that router. Now the next router, uh, the last address in that uh, thirty-two is the sixty-two. So again, we assign the dot two two four so that the devices understand we are we are subnet. Uh, our second router, we're in the sixty four uh, network, so we first assignable sixty five again with that subnet mask of two two four. Uh, the seventh router, we're going to jump all the way over to the seventh router. Seventh router, the serial port is going to be assigned uh, dot two two two, and we're going to use again that subnet mask two two four. Then the Ethernet port coming out of the other side is uh, the first assignable in that 224 network, uh, which is going to be 225, again, with that subnet mask of 224. And then coming down to the PC, we're going to assign the IP address dot .254, again, with the same subnet mask, dot .224. And our default gateway is that router it's connected to, and that's the 225. Uh, going back to that first router and uh, doing a, a show IP route, this is the, the routing table. So we're using RIP uh, version 2, and RIP version 2 recognizes the subnetting. So you can see on the first router, the C's here indicate these are the two networks that are connected to that first router. We have the 0 and the dot, uh, or point three two. Uh, the second router has another network on the other side of it that this router can't see, but he's told it through router RIP that he is a, he's also connected to uh, 64. And then the next router, we show 96, 128, 160, 192, all the way to 224. So all the routers are communicating and showing all eight networks. 
Well, we to get it pinged from our first PC to the last PC. And the last PC IP address is the 192.168.1.254. We got all four uh, pings returned. So we're, again, successfully pinging through uh, all of those routers and all eight networks. Uh, I like to run Tracer to trace route. Uh, this also will show uh, the ports on each one of these routers uh, as it... Uh, receives uh, that signal, it, it, it bounces it back so we can see the uh, different port addresses for each one of these routers also, all the way back to this uh, second PC. So this is another nice utility in uh, Microsoft on the command line that you can run uh, to, to give you a, a trace route. It's just showing you all the devices that you have to get through to get to where you're going, and we, we pinged that last PC. Well, thanks for watching. This was uh, subnetting a class C uh, slash 27 or taking three bits from that last octet. And using the three bits, that gives us uh, eight combinations so we can create eight networks. And we've uh, shown that here with this uh, packet tracer where we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight complete networks. Uh, a new subnet mask of 255.255.255.224. Hopefully this has helped uh, to a little bit better understand how we subnet a Class C and how we can create uh, quite a few uh, networks. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.